Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. <coughs> Welcome back to Team Recorder, Talaman Canonic Sonatas. Yes, it's not the first time I've featured these on the channel. We have had the Sonata number one and number five on here as well and they're so lovely. That's on number three. So this summer I am continuing my new and healthy practice of having a proper break. You can't be creative without rest, but I thought it would be really nice if I dose out some early music play alongs over the summer weeks for you to get your fingers into. The Canonic Sonatas, these are duos for two instruments. You can play them on any melody instrument. They sound brilliant on the recorder. And yes, they are a canon. Both voices play the same line, just starting at different points. And due to the genius of Telemann's Baroque brain, it all sounds good. You can download the score completely for free over at imslp.org. I'll put the link in the description. But if you have money and you'd like to support Team Recorder, I've also made my own version of the score where you can see both voices together as well as play along tracks the solo voice, both voices so you can hear them and even some practice tracks too. How this will work, I will be the first voice, I'll start playing, you look in your music and when I reach the number two, that's when you start. We are playing these on alto treble recorders at modern pitch. Grab your instrument, grab your music and play along. Thank you. 
enjoy. I have a couple of tips. Tip for the vivace, count the rests. There's a couple of places where you have an extra beat of rest that captures you out. I know this because it caught me out. Bar 15, bar 35, watch out for those rests. The trills in bar 25, should that be a B or a B flat? For this, we have to look at what's happening in the canon. If you're the first voice, you will be trilling while the second voice is playing. B. I think you should definitely play B naturals. Suave. Oh, this is just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I would say here, enjoy the dynamics. Of course, we get a lot of echoes because it's a canon, but you can really lean into them. This could be a time to practice your alternative fingerings. Those E flats. Uh, diddly diddly D. Allegro assai. My tip is if you're playing those high F sharps, is to prepare them in time. If you're playing up here, you probably need a couple of bars to get that down to your knee. I know my viewers get really freaked out by closing the end hole, but it's really not that scary. Oh, and enjoy those chromatics. I hope you enjoy playing the Telemann third canonic sonata with me as much as I did enjoy playing it with me. Wait, anyone else going on a summer break? <laughs> So if you want to get involved, don't forget you can get the music for free if that fits your budget down on IMSLP. Support Team Recorder. Get my version of the score with practice backing tracks as well and play to your heart's content. That's it from me today. Subscribe here. Get the score here. Here's some more Talon and Canonics Sonatas and have a great day. Bye!